Hey guys, Brian Beeler here from the Storage Review Lab. We've got another USB portable drive-in today. This is from OWC, uh, Envoy Pro EX with USB-C. Just a quick point of clarification, there's also an Envoy Pro EX line that's black. That's the Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, so a little bit of difference. The drive inside is probably the same drive from OWC. It's a high-performance NVMe drive. Uh, but on the other, on the Thunderbolt 3 enclosure, obviously you'll use the Thunderbolt 3 cable here. This is the more universal USB-C version. Uh, what that means is that we'll get uh, roughly 980 megabytes per second, right, 980 uh, read on this drive, and on the, uh, on the Thunderbolt 3 it'd be closer to 2800. Uh, inside here though, the, this is kind of the fun part, is the 4 terabyte SSD which is not impossible, but is somewhat uncommon in the M.2 SSD space. Further, the, uh, the EX enclosure with USB-C uh, can be bought just plain. It's like 60 bucks just for the enclosure uh, that you could put your own drive in. So OWC, like a lot of their things, like uh, the Mercury Elite Pro that we looked at a little while ago, uh, many of their other uh, enclosures for Creative Pros, they'll sell it driveless if you want that nice sleek body uh, nice design, or they'll they'll stuff it full of hard drives in that case, or or SSDs here. Let's go ahead and pop this guy open. We'll get our little box cutter. Let's see what we got going on inside. All right, two stickers. Now we're in action. So the neat thing about this particular enclosure is that it's, what do they say, IP67 rated. So that means it's, uh, according to the box, dust tight and water resistant. So you can get a little splash on it, a little mud, a little, you know, even a little bit of water if it sat there in, in less than a meter. I think it is for 30 minutes for that uh, IP67 rating. Uh, so that's pretty neat if you want something that's a little bit more rugged. We've got a number of enclosures uh, from other vendors here. And they might be okay too, but they're not rated with the IP67 designation. So this has been tested. Uh, water resistant, dust resistant, and it's also fanless. That's kind of cute on the box. Never have seen a fan in a, a portable SSD, but that would be uh, something to behold if you could squeeze in a, a fan into an enclosure of this size. So here we've got it. It's a, uh, a nice, heavy aluminum enclosure. Um, USB-C port on, on the back and a activity light on the front. Little rubber feet to, to hold this guy secure on the desktop. So that's cool. Why don't we go ahead and see, we've got an included cable here. We'll use theirs. And we'll just do a quick black magic test. Uh, you know, they, these guys are generally uh, well, well regarded in the Mac space. I'm sure it'll be formatted uh, for the Mac, of course, no problem. So we'll go ahead and fire this guy up and see what we've got. So we're expecting uh, roughly 980 on the reads. It'll probably be just a, a little bit less, as we often say, once we put uh, everything in the way. And we're off and going. And we're seeing 870 writes, which is a decent start. And then the read numbers cranking out at about, uh, let's see, 840. And that's gonna give us all green check marks on the black magic test, except for the last four in the, uh, the lower quadrant on the uh, uh, 2160p50 and 2160p60. Uh, for a USB-C drive though, that's pretty strong. Reads closing in on, on 800 megabytes per second. And writes now pretty impressively closing in on almost 900. Uh, so overall, a great performance profile out of this guy, a little blue activity light, really solid enclosure, great feel. Let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look at how you would access the inside of this because I kind of want to see the, uh, the OWC 4 terabyte drive inside and you guys probably do too. So we'll come in a little bit tighter and take a look at the drive inside. So to keep from boring you on, on this teardown, we've cheated ahead and taken out the four screws. If you look at the edges of the, the uh, little rubber feet there, there's little screws that are, that are in place that get covered up. Now what's really interesting about this guy, beyond the four terabyte drive inside, which we'll see in just a second, 
is the, like I said before, IP67 rating, which is really unique because most other drives will say they're tough or rugged, but they don't go through the process of certification. And some we've seen have drop ratings of six feet. So this is a, a little more rugged to say the least. So if we go ahead and kind of wiggle at this case, pull the bottom off, we'll, we'll start to see why. Uh, so the first thing is not, not only do they have the nice thermal pad here, but there's a little recess, which is really nice uh, touch. You don't notice it on the, uh, on the bottom side, but inside here, really small detail, a tiny detail in fact, but a nice one to see uh, to let these things shed heat. One of the things that's important about the SSDs in these enclosures is there is only so many variables you can control. Heat will be directly related to performance in terms of the drive throttling. So to see the heat pad here, and of course the aluminum body will, will help that a good deal. Let's take a look at some of the other details here that are pretty interesting. So back to the IP67, there's a nice little rubber grommet guy here that goes all the way around. And that, when we have uh, this lid pressed down and sealed tight with the screws, uh, gives you that, uh, that security. So while it says they, they're rated at um, uh, less than a meter for 30 minutes, that's why, because they can get that nice seal good enough to keep dust out long term and at more pressure, water would eventually uh, squeeze its way in. But, uh, you know, if you're on a, on a fishing boat doing a, a bass tour and, and saving off your, your video to this from your high-end digital camera, you'll be okay if you, if you drop it in the water for a little bit, so long as a catfish doesn't swallow it whole. Um, overall though, for roughly 60 bucks for the enclosure, there's no doubt in my mind that that's money well spent. Compared to other enclosures we've got uh, from other drives, very few of them even go aluminum. Uh, here's an, a Lassie version uh, of an aluminum body in a uh, hard drive enclosure. Uh, Samsung will use some, some metal, uh, but most of the other ones are plastic and, and not all that impressive. This is really great. We haven't even gotten to the SSD yet, so we looked at a little bit of the performance from the connected over USB-C line. But if we pop this guy out, this is the uh, OWC's Aura, I almost said Aurora, Aura P12, four terabytes. So a couple things. There are very few four terabyte drives on the market in the M.2 form factor. It's a little bit of an engineering challenge uh, to get the NAND on the board. That's one, once you do that, then you've got to find somebody uh, that, that needs that much storage and is willing to spend the money. So the drive by itself, uh, I've pulled up their, their P12 page on their site, four terabyte drive by itself is uh, uh, $1,078. So in this case, you're getting the, uh, the case essentially for free, but um, should be a great little drive even on its own if you pull it out and use it in a, in a system or put it into some other enclosure. OWC has several where uh, something like this would come in handy. Uh, but we'll, uh, we'll work with that drive separately as well just to get a feel for its performance characteristics. So, bottom line, the case by itself, phenomenal. Probably the best one we've seen if you wanna pair up uh, either one of OWC's SSDs or your own uh, from, a, from a professional standing uh, and, uh, and just rugged design, fantastic. The drive itself, the performance we saw over USB-C, and uh, roughly you know, 900, 900, that's, that's fine for, for this type of product. It's good for that use case. And of course you get the more universal compatibility with uh, the USB-C cable. So we're, we're impressed, no doubt. We'll run a little bit of uh, Windows performance on it as well, just to round out the story and have the full review up on storagereview.com very soon. Uh, until then, thanks for tuning in.